Nebraska's behavioral and mental health care needs are changing as both rural and urban communities struggle to meet the diverse needs of the population. So the Behavioral Health Education Center in Nebraska, or BEACON as we call it, was created in 2009. And it really is what we hope to be the solution for the state's workforce challenges. The shortage of psychiatrists, nurse practitioners, PAs, psychologists, and other therapists really has made it hard for families to find access to good care, and we're trying to solve that. Beacon actually is a unique entity in that it's a partnership from many different groups. Uh, its initial founding in 2009 really came from a conglomeration of several groups. So one was uh, the academic medical centers, uh, UNMC and Creighton. Uh, second was government entities like uh, Division of Behavioral Health. Third really is going to be community partnerships, uh, um, strong philanthropists and others in the community who really care deeply about behavioral health. And finally, I would say that consumers and really the recovery movement really what helped inspire us as well. Operating from the UNMC campus in a rural hub location at the University of Nebraska at Kearney, Beacon is dedicated to improving access to behavioral and mental health care across the state of Nebraska by developing and retaining a skilled and passionate workforce. This is being accomplished through four major areas of focus. Recruitment, preparing and training the future workforce, training and retention of the current workforce, and providing workforce reports and evaluation. The Beacon Ambassador Program is a pipeline program designed to recruit students from high school, college, and beyond. The program provides opportunities to introduce students to behavioral health professions and connects them with mentors and programs to encourage further exploration of these careers. This program will develop such a great group of people that are going to work together in the future to, you know, really focus on behavioral health issues. Beacon maintains a pipeline of students training in psychiatry, psychology, marriage and family therapy and counseling. It does this by supporting psychiatric residency programs, establishing interprofessional clinical training sites, and supervising clinical internships with primary care clinics, community agencies, and hospitals, especially in rural and underserved areas. We really try to um, foster the development of our students into professionals. And the way that we do that is to, once again, provide that um, a high level of supervision. But also, we want to provide them with, with support beyond the, their training year. Beacon is committed to interprofessional behavior health training and curriculum development for practitioners and trainees across the state of Nebraska by offering webinars, online learning modules, conferences, and in-person training. What we're really hoping to do is to find policymakers, uh, educators, and uh, frontline clinicians to really think about the workforce we need for the future and what the best solutions are. To connect behavioral health employers with job seekers in the state, Beacon collaborated with Region 5 Systems to launch NebraskaBehavioralHealthJobs.com. The site, which is made possible with the support of both private and state funding, is free for employers to post jobs and free for job seekers to search for jobs. Beacon partners with UNMC's College of Public Health to offer two important resources. The Nebraska Behavioral Health Workforce Analysis, which is published every two years and provides an in-depth analysis of the current supply of licensed behavioral health professionals in the state, and the Nebraska Behavioral Health Workforce Dashboard, an interactive online tool designed to illustrate current behavioral health workforce distribution. Deacon's approach to addressing Nebraska's behavioral and mental health care access needs is already paying dividends. Um, it is great to have a psychologist here in the office with us where we can introduce her to our patients the same day I see them. The patients really like it because it takes a lot of the stigma away that they're afraid of. With primary care, the really nice thing is that instead of saying, you know, let's make three appointments on three separate days, so really being able to say you can have all the different types of services you need for your family right now in this one location. Working with Beacon has really um, helped me focus more on um, the dire need for uh, mental health services in the rest of the state. Ultimately, while Beacon is already making tremendous gains in addressing the state's behavioral and mental health care crisis, there is still much work to be done. If Beacon didn't exist, I think we'd still be stuck in the old model of practice, which is that any one of us, whether I'm a psychiatrist or a counselor, would still see one patient at a time. 
What we hope to see and we're starting to see movement on is population health. And that just means that any one provider really can extend their impact to dozens, hundreds, and maybe over the course of their career, thousands of families. As I look forward to how I plan to practice someday and even I think about how important it will be to have um, people who are trained at all levels of behavioral health um, in order to make that practical and some of those people might be able to work remotely and some of those people are going to have to be in those communities um, to provide on the ground care for people who need it and um, I'm, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to try to find those people that I need to work with because Beacon's been putting in the groundwork for years now to help people see the opportunities in the field of behavioral health. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to find those people when I need them to provide the kind of care I want to provide for patients.